So former Republican candidate and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is doing major damage control for the way she responded to what should have been a pretty basic U.S. history question. Take a look. What was the cause of the United States Civil War? Well, don't come with an easy question or anything. I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. I mean, I think it always comes down to the role of government. In the year 2023, it's astonishing to me that you answer that question without mentioning the word slavery. The first thing I should have said was slavery. I completely agree with that. It, when you grow up in the South, Slavery is a given. Like, when you think of the Civil War, you know it was about slavery. That's not, you know, that's never been in question. I'm sorry. Apparently, I said that Nikki Haley was a former candidate. She's a candidate. She's a present candidate. Right. What's okay. her, what is she polling at? Huh? 3% or 5%? I, so look, she... did I, I just forgot to say she was a candidate. <laughs> Stop trying to dig my grave for me. <laughs> She also said that that question was a gotcha question. Nikki? Whenever they don't like the question, it's a gotcha question. I mean, question. look, it was slavery. Slavery straight up. Oh. Slavery. Every time people try to change that, we need to change it back. You're old enough to know better. You read the history books. You know what was happening. One side said we want the slaves. The other side said we don't, and they went to war. Don't sugarcoat this. That's what it was. <laughs> Interesting. Apparently, Santa didn't leave her a history book for Christmas. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking, isn't the four score and seven years ago our forefathers the mm -hmm. Lincoln thing? Wasn't yeah. that called the Emancipation Proclamation to yeah. emancipate people? It's not called freedom for guys. Yeah. <laughs> freedom for people to do whatever they want. Yeah. It was called the Emancipation Proclamation. That alone gives you your first clue. She's getting her history from Gone with the Wind. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Listen, I was, I was dying to respond to this and heard from a lot of viewers because I am someone who I, I do support Nikki Haley and I want to say unequivocally, this comment was wrong, bizarre, historically inaccurate. It felt like pandering too and I kind of get insulted by that because the vast majority of Republicans do not want people to whitewash slavery. Maybe our elected politicians have that take, but, but most base, do not. the base, that's who she's talking to. She, and and listen, the statement the was unacceptable. She did walk it back unlike Ron DeSantis when he stepped in it with AP Black oh my History God, he doubled and just down. doubling and tripling, quadrupling down. He's but a here's what I'll say with Haley. Um, I'm still supporting her in the primary, and here's why. No. Um, there, why? Donald Trump, if the election yeah, were held today, her or Trump, she if goes the election were held today, he would yeah. statistically beat Joe Biden. There are three ways to stop Donald Trump. The Republican primary, the courts, which may not catch up with him by election day, or the general election. Joe Biden is struggling right now. Nikki Haley is where I am on historic generation-defining issues, supporting Ukraine, um, continuing our aid to Israel, continuing to abortion? secure the border. What about abortion? She's very nuanced on abortion. Yeah, she what, said what's about, her position she on abortion? Said 15 to 20 weeks, and oh, that there God. always need to be exceptions for rape, incest, life of the mother. This is a candidate that you guys never have to vote for her, but she is not an existential threat to our well, democracy. She won't what I don't understand is how she starts the question with starting with a hard question. I actually find that a very, a very easy, easy question. And then when yeah. she calls it a gotcha, she's again showing where her head is because. That's not a gotcha question. Mm. This is one of the easiest things you could ask anyone. You don't need a history book. You just need to have woken up and come out of the vagina. Or, uh, like, <laughs> in this country, everyone, everyone, knows. everyone knows the history of this country. It is a stain that we will carry like a burden that needs to be shouted and proclaimed over and over again. And it is easy. <laughs> but can, can I just say Was this? Was it the vagina? <laughs> it, just, it just shows you who she is, and when someone, I, Maya Angelou yeah. said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Yes. This is not the first time you know, that she something. has, can I just say this? Yeah, she is not, this is not the first time that she has been a hypocrite. She said, I, as a South Carolina governor, took down the Confederate flag. Nikki Haley, you took down that flag because you were forced to, because I was there covering that shooting in South Carolina when all those people were murdered by Dylan Roof. She was forced to take it down, and when she took it down, she said, for many people in our state, the flag stands for traditions that are noble, traditions of history, of heritage, 
and ancestry. So you can kiss my grits when you try to say some nonsense about you don't, not, you should have said slavery. Everybody knows slavery. Right. She didn't say it intentionally because 85% of Republicans are white and she does not okay. want to. You know what? Most, I, I most white votes. Americans don't, don't want to whitewash slavery. Yeah, yeah, I, okay. I do agree with you, but that's the one. First of all, I'm not going to kiss your grits even though I love you. <laughs> But the Emancipation Proclamation was not what I was quoting, was the Gettysburg Address. Gettysburg okay. Address. Uh, but what I want to say is that she, both she and DeSantis said that if Trump were to win, please, God, don't let that happen. Um, she would pardon, and he would pardon Trump. Yes. And I'm also Why? not... Why? He's a... He will be a convicted felon. He breaks the law. You can't support her. I'm not, I'm not entirely You're convinced. rational. I, I, <laughs> I'm just telling you, I am worried about him being president. I have rung the alarm bells about this. I'm not convinced Joe would, Biden can beat him, so I want other steps... Would Joe Biden can beat him? Nikki Haley He's is not a threat to democracy. Would you Here's what's argue. happening right now. She's we're going to beat out what we're doing. <laughs> he will be because we're going to break. He will. I believe that.